Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, all you wonderful people. Um, obviously, no Pap live last night. He was absolutely knackered, apparently. So, and it was just as well, because so was I. <laughs> I've uh, been getting a few headaches over the weekend, but nothing serious. But anyway, this is the first of probably two videos today, as there's something else that's come up and happened. You can probably guess what um, over the weekend, but I'll talk about that in the next video. But this one is all about the new public order bill. Now, we all know what, a lot of what was in this, but it had been shelved. But now, under the smoke screens of everything else going on, it's actually passed through the Commons now. Now, <laughs> we have the right to protest. Of course we do. But the police are going to be given even more powers now to use against people. Um, which basically won't allow you to. You can do it, you can protest legally, but they'll have so many powers, they'll be squash every protest. Now, this bill has now been passed on to the House of the Elite, I'm um, sorry, the House of Lords. Now, what powers are we talking about? Well, to start with, they're, they'll have the power to ban a protest, if they think it will be too noisy. So one raised voice, too noisy, no protest. So that's having your voice taken away from you. Basically, you'll never be allowed to have your say on anything. Now, admittedly, this bill is supposed to be aimed at, or is their excuse for it, um, for the people that disrupt the infrastructure, like the roads, motorways, or glue themselves to things. Um, by the way, that's called locking on now, apparently. Now, anybody doing this, um, they can expect up to unlimited fines and up to 12 years in prison. Now, well, we all know that won't happen with them. You know, this is to target the ego loons. But is it? You know, the courts will have other new powers as well to ban people from specific areas or associating with other protesters. And uh, this can be backed up with electronic tagging, uh, six months in jail, and obviously some huge fines to probably go along with that. Now, they... Police will also be given powers to stop and search people um, for items that they would consider um, either to participate or assist others in a protest, i.e. superglue, bike locks, fine, that's what they call locking on and superglue, obviously. <laughs> they like to glue themselves to things. Um, posters, banners, placards. So I will affect this, those others that aren't eco loons. Because now the police will have the powers to stop and search anybody who they think could be carrying any of these or connected to or going to a protest and now the new part of that will be they will not have to have any grounds to do so now that is very dangerous that means they can stop if there was a protest in London they can stop anybody in London to search them and if they've got anything deemed you could have been down the shop to WH Smith's getting some crayons and some paper for your kids straight away you're deemed as going to be helping a protest 
and that could incur you how many months in prison and then an ankle tag. <sighs> and you you could be banned from going out even in your own local area. As I say, this is all to target the eco loonies. But surprisingly enough, there are one or two of the elites that have come out and said this is a very dangerous way to make laws. Now, I agree with that totally. And in particular, they're saying, and even the Joint Committee on Human Rights have said this, that this could be used to stamp all over our rights to protest and could, well, we'll change that to will, entail arbitrary and discriminatory use by the police. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, the, the police wouldn't even know the meaning of those two words. But this is very dangerous. But yeah, if you're in London and there's a protest going on, you could be arrested, searched for nothing other than the police thoughts or maliciousness. And we know they've all got that. They're, they're just evil bastards. Yeah, th this is all they're going to need to continue bullying and harassing the public who are absolutely innocent. And now they'll have absolutely no accountability to it. You absolutely have the right to protest, but they will make it impossible for you to do so. And now, as I say, this was shelved for a little while. Um, it wasn't publicised. Um, mainstream media haven't said a word about it. Or well, I haven't seen it anywhere. Well, one or two people saw it, I think. But it was... This is why I watched the house because you never know what you're going to see them reading out. Now, this went through there last week and passed on to Household Lords for their reading. But all they showed last week mainly was PM's question times in the Scottish Parliament and the Welsh Parliament. So I think they brought this in under a smokescreen. Now, if you've got any comments on this, obviously it's something that the faceless cowards don't like us talking about in the comments. Or you repeatedly get a comment removed. Um, send me the comment via e email. The email's in the description. And what I do, what I will do is any questions asked or any views put that require an answer, I will put that out in a future video. Um, obviously, if your name on your email is not the same as your username, let me know your username so I know who I'm replying to. Obviously, if you don't want your names put in any reply, totally respect that. I will never do that if I'm requested not to. So you can put that in the email, whether you mind me naming you in a reply or if you'd just rather remain anonymous. I don't have a problem with it. But the way it's going, yeah, we're looking at the dawning of 1984 now, aren't we? It's just progressing to that next level, what with travel restrictions come in, and, and especially what I've got to talk about in the next video, which my notes are on the table there for. <laughs> but for this one, I'll leave it there, folks. The next one is going to be a shorter, is going to be a shorter one, so... Welcome to the new subs. We're still climbing a little bit there. Excellent. Share share this out if you feel it's good enough. You know. But my respects to each and every one of you for that support. It does mean a lot. And until later, as always, stay safe. Stay strong. Stay free from the fear these clowns create. Respects, guys.